in this video I am partnering with a company called Allure Hair. They sent me an 18 inch frontal wig. It is deep wave. Um, starting off I like to put my foundation color on the frontal. I like to go darker because I think it makes it blend better. Then I will be using the Isha glue. I'm going to be applying three layers and waiting till it turns clear. Then I will be applying my wig. After all three layers turn white, I like to pull my wig down and place it where I want it to lay. I'm going to place it right on the baby hairs because that's just how I like to do it. I'm going to be using a comb to push it down into the glue and making sure it is really like, you know, secure on there. And then I'm going to separate out my baby hairs so I can cut those down and do, you know, all the extraness. <laughs> I will be pulling out a thin layer of baby hairs because of this wig doesn't really come with like pre-cut baby hairs and make sure it's thin because if it's too thick your baby hairs will look real thick and chunky and nasty and you don't want to look like that. So, thin layer please. <laughs> Once I have everything, you know, like how I like it, I pull my hair back, then I'm going to apply a frontal wrap to really push the lace down into the glue and really secure it in. I'm going to go in and detangle my hair a little bit and then I'm going to pull it back into a ponytail so I can cut off my lace. I'm going to cut my lace in sections because that makes it easier. I would recommend using an eyebrow razor instead of a scissor because... When cutting the lace, make sure you move your hand in like, you know, a little zigzag motion to make a little effect. Um, I didn't really do it on one side by accident. I don't know why I didn't do it and it was bothering me all fucking night. But I only would have worked for one day. So it really didn't, you know affect me like that see I was wiggling but I don't know why I can't it came out straight maybe I wasn't doing it right <laughs> maybe I was wiggling my wrist and not the actual scissors Now it's time to cut the ear tabs. I like to cut my ear tabs kind of snug because I don't like when my wig is like visible, like the, the demarcation line, like I cannot do that. I need my ear to cover it so nobody know I got a wig on, even though they know I got a wig on because it's a wig, but you know, trying to make it look as realistic as possible. Um, but now I'm about to cut my baby hairs down to size. Um, I kind of keep them really short because, you know, real baby hairs isn't long enough. Like when it's longer, it looks faker. And plus, like when you swoop it into your wig, it doesn't really have the same illusion. So I'll cut them down short, but not, you know, too short. Um, 
now I'm gonna be taking some got to be to lay my edges um, I usually like to use mousse but I did not want my wig to lift because I was kind of in a rush and I don't have time for it to be fucking up so yeah I'm just gonna comb back the extra hairs and you know do a little swoop with those too because it gives that a little nice little hairline thing going on or whatever and for my baby hairs, I'm going to do a middle swoop. Then I'm going to do one swoop on one side, one swoop on the other side. And then the sideburns as I always do it. As you guys probably know by now you have to play with your baby hairs a little bit you know to get it to look the right way that one was kind of long so you know I have to snip it down some um I do not like that one that I'm doing right now I do not like that at all I think it's probably because I didn't really pluck my frontal because I didn't really have that much time like I said I was in a rush but yeah that shit turned me off now I'm gonna apply my front wrap because I'm about to go do my makeup and take a shower and you know I really want my wig to be really secure so you want to tie that kind of tight and here I am again I'm back after the shower and the makeup and I'm doing a half up half down style because that's my favorite with curly hair and that's pretty much the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe all the extra information is in the description box and I'll see you guys in the next video, which I think will be a makeup video. Like, I keep recording makeup videos, but I just don't like the way they come out. Like, I just, I need a new background. I'm about to move, guys, so my studio is really about to be fire. So, makeup videos will be coming soon. And, yeah, later, guys.